When you are running experiments, you will come across the terms such as positive control and negative control. And today we are going to learn what they mean and how you can easily differentiate between them. Hello guys, welcome to our channel. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please do it now so that you don't miss useful contents like this. First, let's understand what a control is while you are running an experiment. Control is a group which does not receive any treatment during the study. For example, if you want to know the effect of new antibiotics on animals, you can have two groups of six animals in each group. One group receives new antibiotics to kill bacteria. Let's say this new antibiotic has 10% of compound called penicillin. So let's name this as penicillin 10%. And the other group receives no thing or placebo. The group that receives penicillin 10% is called experimental group. And the group that receives no medicine or placebo is called a control group. In this example, we only had two groups, one control and one experimental. However, if you want to increase the reliability of this experiment, you can add one more group, which you can call a positive control group, where you can test existing antibiotic that is already known to kill bacteria. For example, existing antibiotic is penicillin 20% that is already in the market and is known to work against bacteria. So now you have three groups. What are they? They are control group that receives no medicine, experimental group that has 10% penicillin and positive control group that receives 20% penicillin. So in this experiment, you are comparing penicillin 10% with penicillin 20% and the group that receives no medicine. And again, penicillin 10% is experimental group, penicillin 20% is a positive control group and no medicine group is negative control. So now let's understand the differences between positive and negative control using the above example. In above example, negative control received no medicine. That means negative control produces no response. And positive control was 20% penicillin, which is known to kill bacteria. That means it gives response to the experiment and gives positive result. Also, negative control helps to find out the influence of other factors in your study as you are not giving any medicine. And if you get some response, that means there are some external factors that could influence your result. And positive control helps to test the validity of the experiment as you are comparing against the factor that is known to work. Now let's design an experiment where you want to test the effect of new fertilizer to the plants. We are going to have three groups and each group has 50 plants. So what do you think will be your negative control, positive control and experimental group? In this question, negative control would be a group that receives no fertilizer. Positive control would be known fertilizer which is already in the market that increases productivity of plant by 10%. An experimental group will be a new fertilizer. So guys, this is the end of today's video. I hope you like the content of our channel. Please like and comment on this video and share it with your friends. I will see you again in the next video. Until then, watch me inspire and keep inspiring.